Ooh, today's going to be interesting. So, so today, let me let me tell you what happened. So, I ordered this guy when the Biggie album first came out. And when I mean like first came out, I mean it had first came out, and I ordered it. Now, I ordered this from a company back then, which was I think over a year ago. It was over a year ago. So it was like December of something last year, not not 2020, but at 2019 that I that I put this guy on order, and he just came in the mail like two days ago from Big Apple Collectibles. I will probably never order anything from them again, but I got this guy in the mail, and then I've got this one came from my family in South Carolina. So I know what's in this one. I don't have a clue what's in this one. I didn't stop this one for a few reasons, though. Dum, 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 dum. Oh, well, hello there, old chap. Lord Squatchington here of the Royal Society of Big Feet. <clears throat> When I'm not on the hunt or playing croquet with the Duke of Yettysboro, I enjoy watching Wayneco. And if you enjoy it like I do, old chap, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and turn on those bell notifications. Hmm, yes, quite right. Hmm. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications, and become part of the Wayne Co. crew. My name is Wayne, and this is Wayne Co. Now, like I was saying, I didn't stop this one for a couple of reasons, right? The, the reasons are pretty obvious. So when I got the other one, I immediately took the plastic off of it. I immediately, like, took it out and, and took it off the sleeve. I did a few things that I wouldn't do now. So that's why I didn't stop the order of this one, because in the event that I had done that to this one, then, then I was just going to keep this one as it is. But this also gives me a chance to look at it and see if they fixed anything since I ordered the last one. Because the last one, you know, we all we all know that I, I have some, some problems with it. So I'm hoping as these things evolve, they start to fix the problems that that one has. And I'll actually bring that one over here in a second and show it to you so that we could all see what I'm talking about. And they did not. So... Ah, oh, but look at the top of this... <laughs> See, this is this is what I'm saying. They don't have like any top on the top of that box. So because they don't have a top on the top of that box, you can see where the box is, is now separated away from the rest of it. I'm going to leave the plastic on this one. That's what I was talking about when I said like I took it off. I took all of the, the cellophane off of my other one. I'm not going to do it on this one. I'm kind of just going to sit it down somewhere and I'm going to leave it along. Now this is number one out of the albums. This is like one of my favorites right now. But I seen that they're going to have a little Wayne. The Carter 3 is going to be coming out here at some point so i have a i have a i have a, a guess that number seven is going to jump in as my favorite before it's over with but right now number one is my favorite let's take a closer look at this guy before i get this box open now see this is what i'm saying right as you can see there we go i make sure you get a shot of it this time you see because it doesn't have a top on the box that the, the box starts to separate away from this plastic right here and that's going to be a problem in the future now this one i'm going to take in store somewhere i'm going to kind of get him out of the way that way that it, it doesn't get damaged or anything like that so this one right here will just kind of be my i'm going to put to the side right so it just because i wanted one that still had the plastic on it i wanted one that was still pure i took the plastic off the other one not knowing what it would if it would change anything what it would do it really didn't do anything it's just taking the plastic off of this but I, I, I I'm glad that I have one that still has the plastic on it the back of it looks just like the back of his album I was told here recently that this is his daughter that's on there so this is it's it's super super iconic look this is still my favorite but like I said a second ago I, I I've, I've seen the rumors that there's going to be a card or three I th even think Big Apple Collectibles already has it for sale even though they're the only people that I've seen that has it for sale and it kind of bothers me that they're the only people right now that have it for sale maybe that'll change in the future I'm not really sure. They didn't fix anything though. On the on the number two, the one directly after this one, they put the holes in it. So it's supposed to have holes in here that you could directly mount it on the wall. They didn't catch it on the first one at all. My disappointments in these albums though is pretty clear, right? This is not a real album. They did not put a 33 in it. They did not put a CD in it. They didn't do any of that. They just kind of made it look like it was the album and then shipped it out. Look, which is still equally cool, right? I still, I still think it's cool. But I just feel like they should have put the record or they should have they should have done something different in there, right? I mean, they just should have done something. 
This one, I don't have a clue what it is. This was sent from a family in South Carolina. Thank you, Aunt Cheryl. I truly appreciate it. So I don't know what this one is. So this one's going to be the Funko. This is going to be the Wayne Co. Mystery Box of the Day. <laughs> Let's see what we got. And we have Twinkie the Kid. This is... This is a pretty hot pop, and I've been threatening to get this pop for, for, for a long, long time, and I just haven't, like, managed to, to pull the trigger on getting this guy. Um, I The box itself looks like it's in pretty good condition, no different than what you normally see on the edges where it kind of got pushed around a little bit. He's number 27 out of the group. Now, they don't show any of them on the back of the box. They just show, you know, the Twinkie and the ad icons. That's typically what they do when it comes to the ad icons. You don't really see, like, them on the back of this box. Um, the box itself looks really cool. He has been out for a really long time. There was a there was a time there that I was going to play Chase Roulette, but then I figured maybe I'll find it out in the wild one day. I guess that's kind of what I've just kept my fingers crossed that I catch this guy out in the wild one day. And he looks he looks really cool. Let's take a closer look at him. Twinkie the Kid is pretty fire, if we're being honest, right? So he has this lasso in his hands. Now, the difference between him and the Chase is not like a whole lot of difference. It's really just the, the color of this stuff right here, maybe the color of the hat. Other than that, I think they're exactly the same. They just changed the colors on them. He looks pretty good just looking at him. I do see a lot of like paint problems, though, and that's how you know that this is a much older pop. So you see the paint there, the paint there. They got some blemishes where they were scraping it. They got a lot of paint spillover into that brown hat, you know, because they... this. This is to me where they're trying to learn how to do this kind of stuff and they're figuring it out as they go along. So this is one of them that you can clearly tell is a little dated, but but is really cool. And that, like I said, I had been threatening to get him for a long time and I just haven't like managed to pull the trigger. But I truly appreciate you guys for sending this over to me. This is a really awesome pop. I'm going to put it with the rest of my ad icons. The ad icons for some reason tend to be my favorite pops as, as, as far as like going after and collecting, right? So I really enjoy the ad icons. This is a really awesome pop. Guys, let me give a quick shout out to my Patreon and all of my Patreon supporters. I truly appreciate all of your support. We've got a really awesome giveaway coming up soon. It is the the Human Torch, the Glow Human Torch with the, the GameStop exclusive they did in their whole mystery box. It, I have it posted on Instagram, I think. So if you, if you want to go check that out, go check that out on my Instagram. The link should be down in the description below. Or even just go check it out on my Patreon because it's on there as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications, and become part of the Wayne Co. Group. There is no Wayne Co. Crew without you guys, and I truly appreciate y'all watching. Until next time, have a good one.